right guys welcome back to the ALGS channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far we've got a lot to dive into and discuss in this one with roster updates roster changes roster mania then also some good news if you're an optic fan and honestly some good news if you are a fan of coaches inside of the ALGS and then we've also got some results for the oversight pro series and some drama going on when it comes to rank like I said a lot to dive into and discuss so like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date with all things going on inside the world of Apex Legends esports so just want to give you a forewarning that tomorrow's video may be a little bit scuffed i'm going to go on a short mini type vacation to a cabin in uh, the middle of nowhere on a lake and it's going to be a weird setup because i'm bringing all my stuff from home out there and god only knows how that's going to work but we are going to keep you up to date with the news so you should still expect the video just don't know how good it's going to look or how good it's going to sound hopefully we get everything dialed in and it's not too scuffed but we'll have a video out so if you guys want to stay up to date with the news then of course Follow us over on Twitter and apexglobalseries.com and subscribe here to the channel as well. Let's dive into it. Firstly, wanted to make mention that the new rank split has now been rolled out. And of course, this was not so well received. Yes, they did have to postpone it. Yes, there were bugs that they had to fix. And yes, they did say it would be coming later and we would get more info soon. Sadly, that info never really came and it just came out of the middle of nowhere that they dropped it, saying the new rank split has now been rolled out. And many fans and pros and streamers alike were not happy with the way that they decided to do it because Albert Lely had said, look, you know, rank split starting as soon as CC scrim starts, this is just unlucky. Many people wanted to do this rank grind. They wanted to go to Pred, first to Pred, number one Pred, whatever the case may be. Well, there's also a new glitch, a new bug. We, the people had shared that his rank did not successfully reset yesterday and he can't even queue into rank because it won't put him into a game. It still says that he's like masters or so and there's nobody at his rank so it really sucks and it's not the only one it happens to also mg clutch saying that he's still masters but he was also upset because he says he got completely scammed out of his number one pred due to a bug so many people obviously didn't understand if this you know was going to come back very soon if this new split was going to be starting the next day the next hour how long will this bug take to fix well we never got that clarification many people stopped grinding for pred many people lost their number one pred their number three pred or pred in general and whenever this new update happened then i guess wherever the split ended at that time is where maybe they're going to be giving these rewards for and it really sucks for those guys because some people were grinding eight hours a day to be number one pred or to be pred in general and so to have that happen yeah it does suck and i really hope that they can reinstate some of those to some degree and hopefully we get some better news in the future but yes to answer the questions out there ranked split number two has begun and you guys can go play it right now also also wanted to make mention of some roster mania roster news unfortunate stuff to see in the scene but you do have claim from native sadly being dropped now many people did expect this to happen and a lot of people actually expected this to happen whenever they made the roster change with lux coming on board many had said look man all these rosters have come under claim and none of them has succeeded when are we going to start putting the blame on the claim then we saw their coach Braden say look you know none of that is really true Clean's not had all these rosters he's not had all these failures I don't know where all this stuff is coming from and it's really uh, a bunch of hate that is unnecessary for Clean. and so sadly whenever we saw this new roster come through with Lux and we saw improvement I personally thought maybe 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 native is going to try to stick it together maybe they're going to see like hey we've improved a lot since where we were in the middle of the season let's just go ahead and keep it together let's grind and let's make split two much better because it's not fair that this roster didn't get to play a full split with this team sadly that's not how things went down at all and so native came out to say we thank you and goodbye to clay wishing you the best on your future endeavors now what was really sad is clay comes out later on to say he basically seemed to be blindsided and he said i just got dropped finally get a team that all wanted it as bad as i do and had potentially or potential to genuinely be at the top and ends like this it really really sucks and i'm an lft now igl or fragger or even a coach and if i can't get a paid opportunity there's a good chance that he's going to have to quit gaming entirely and it sucks because i get it at the end of the day even if you don't respect him or like him as a player even if you think it's his fault when you have people that have been a staple in the scene and in the community for quite some time and you feel like they're being pushed out or shoved out of the way due to financial struggles or the fact that you know it is a business at the end of the day right people got to make money and you can't just expect someone to be taken care of 
when they're not feeling uh when the companies are not feeling like they're getting the value that they're paying for i totally get it it just sucks right because you know that on any other you know sports level to some degree those guys are taken care of and if they're not starting they're at least on the bench and they're still getting paid really good money and everybody's still kind of happy at the end of the day but it's not the way uh it is in esports yet and we're simply not there or at that level or even close to that level right now and there are businesses that need to uh, still operate at the end of the day. So sadly, things like this still happen. And I still want everybody involved in the community that has been around. I, I don't want everybody to uh, you know, eventually have to move on. If they wanna stay in the Apex scene, I wanna see them there. And so Rambo also comes out to say, me and Lux will be looking for one going forward into split two under native. And we will be trialing for now and not making a decision till after land. So obviously we'll keep you up to date here with who they are looking out with and who they are trialing with. But feel free to message me here or on Discord at Ramboski. So that is the news, unfortunately, for Rambo. Look, I mean, uh, unfortunately for Klain, it looks like he's going to be, uh, you know, stepping away from Native and Rambo and Lux. Unfortunately for them, they're going to have to start looking for a brand new teammate. Also wanted to make mention, this is some more good news inside the scene. You guys may know Two Rats, One Controller, and their coach having some issues going to land. And we even saw some issues on Twitter about how EA was not paying for the coaches to go to land and how much of a financial struggle this was and how basically they felt like the pros should be taken care of. Sadly, some of those are also dealing with visa issues. And because the uh, you know coaches are not being taken as serious, the visas are not being taken as serious and they don't feel like they need to go. Some have already been declined, but this one was more of a financial struggle. And it was crazy to me that people were even shaming for trying to get help on this because it's already a situation that many feel like you know EA should be paying for the coaches also. But then on top of that, I mean, hey, it's someone's platform, right? If they want to come out and ask for help, let them do it. And, you know, it is what it is. But this actually did get met. And so thank goodness that the coach for 2R1C did get his goal met with, I think, about $300 overboard or so. So if you guys were took in this, big W on you. And really nice to see the community coming together to make dreams like this come true and to make all this stuff happen. Also want to mention some more good news inside the scene. If you guys were worried slightly that Optic Gaming, now that they didn't qualify for LAN, a lot of people were worried. Look, Apex is already in a weird spot. Will Optic Gaming decide to back away? Well, obviously, we didn't think so because they're a part of this partnership program why would exactly they take that route well it does suck obviously to not be at land but where's their roster going to stand of course no solid information on that but it definitely looks like optic gaming is planning to stay around the apex scene they just signed dal touche as a content creator and now we have been seeing dal touche hang out with optic for quite some time but it is good to know that they are expanding inside of the world of apex by signing some apex content creators as well and he's also doing a lot of uh you know variety also so good on him but really nice to see and a good pickup as well lastly want to make mention with some oversight pro series also known as scrims but kind of not really scrims because it's really been, it's been taken a lot more seriously now this was a very interesting one and very very happy for the apac scene because yoka and i told you guys when we were doing our tier list that datch was one of my bigger players to work uh, look out for datch has been playing very incredible and i really like this roster but yoko yari in first place for group a versus b and not only was it them in first it was dark zero obviously in second and two r1c in the top three again really love how much uh two rats one controller have been performing very well obviously coming from the emea region a lot of doubt there and everybody's you know always sucking on north america so it's good to see some of these other regions do really really good and that means for the first time i think maybe ever it's actually not majority north america inside the top five you've got apac you've got north america emea emea and then north america again legacy in the top five navi in the top four so good to see on them as well. And then you have Alliance doing it again. We've seen them do really well in the last couple of days. A first place, a second place, and a first again. Block two winner. Obviously, I think this roster has seen a lot more potential since they've signed Unlucky. And obviously, I love Yuki, but Unlucky is just that missing puzzle piece that I felt like this roster needed. It's been more so about actually putting the execution there. And I think that's the rhythm that they're starting to find now. Alliance in first place. It was Furia in second and Space station in third br demons obviously from the south american region was really nice and refreshing to see them in the top four then elevate in the fifth place as well tsm up in 11th and then of course legends gaming was a big shocker for me apex south finishing in 19th but there's a lot to be learned here a lot of contests going down people are figuring out where they want to actually uh, land how they want to play this and a lot of these contests are starting to change up quite a bit we just talked about luminosity obviously yesterday and how they're going to apparently be contested on land now as of some recent changes.
so let me know what you guys are thinking about all the topics mentioned in today's video down in the comment section below of course like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things inside the world of algs and also a big shout out to all of you that showed up for my birthday stream yesterday really appreciate all the love it has been an amazing birthday and i really did enjoy my day seriously i really mean that so thank you guys for all the well wishes and all of you showing up as well have a great rest of your day and until the next time we'll see you all later gators